hi y'all and a welcome back to my channel if you didn't know this is your girl it's andrea michelle sis and uh, i love to do motherhood and lifestyle and um occasionally beauty um makeup tutorials and i also love to haul things and show you guys some things that i have around the house that I just think that it's very comforting, smells really good. I'm all about smelling good, like smelling good. So if I can be a help to anybody in their house, then I'm all for it. Um, we're all mothers, so if you have any advice for me, then definitely give me some advice. If you have a, a favorite scent in your house and you want to share it with all of us mothers out here, definitely, definitely put it in the comment section. What is your favorite wax melt? And where would you purchase it at? at? And if you can find a cheaper version of that wax melt, where would you think I would purchase that at okay um, fall is coming up and I'm very excited I have all these wax melts some of them don't pertain to uh, fall I just had them in my house and I just love them I've been using them forever and so I just wanted to share how I keep my house smelling good throughout the day and I just want to show you guys what kind of wax warmer I have in my house and also suggest that you guys this is just a normal wax warmer so you can't leave this one on in your house and go somewhere and shop and stuff like that um the ones that i think that you would be interested in is the ones that if you go to work or you know even if you're a stay-at-home mom you definitely have things to do go take the kids to school go grocery shopping do things you know and you don't want to leave this wax warmer on because they definitely get hot really hot and so um you definitely want to be careful when you use these around kids definitely put these if you have a plug that's somewhere up high in your kitchen um definitely uh put them there i would suggest that if you have like my son is nine and he knows better like he's very responsible so he knows better um, when they get to an age like that, they know better not to touch anything that's hot. But uh, just for baby safety wise, um, this is not something you would put like down below uh, on the you know on your wall. Uh, I definitely will find a um, wax warmer that has a timer on it, so it'll come on for an hour and then shut off for an hour. Or you can just stick with your um, your oil warmers uh, which is like the air wigs and the Febreze ones and I think it's a, a glad a one that they have too as well um, but I would stick with the ones that shut off if I find a picture somewhere where they have the ones that shut off I'll try to find a cheaper version and link it in the description box below so that you can go check it out and um, get it um, but anyways, this is my wax warmer right here. Let's just start with this. I love my wax warmer. Um, I got this at Walmart. And um, I love that it makes these little pods here. When it gets down to this level, it automatically just stops. You know, like, I don't know. Like, my wax warmer is not a timer. But it just normally don't even try to even melt this anymore. Because it's, I guess it's already been melted or whatever. And it's the limit of the, the, uh that's the limit for um it to be hot i guess i don't know you guys but um this right here is if you want to know this scent right here i believe it's this one it is the sunshine apple and i was lucky to get it on sale but yes um whenever i get these just tip tip tips for my mothers and my fathers out there um if you got a stinky trash all you gotta do is open it toss it and your trash each time your trash open you'll get um some type of um fresh scent that's coming out of there instead of just you know must <laughs> onion smell um because i just put some uh corn salad in there and i had onions in there and baby it is loud <laughs> but anyways that's what i normally do i throw it in there or sometimes i'll put them in like the drawers at my house i would just sit them in the corner and normally it just makes everything when you open cabinets and stuff it makes things smell good um and then i also put them in little containers and put them underneath the couch um because we know that if you are laying on a couch or you have somebody that you know maybe farted on your couch let's just be honest let's be honest they might have farted on your couch and it was one of them solid killers <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, I normally have my little scents underneath the couch because nobody wants to smell that. And I definitely don't want my conversation to end because you pass some gas, okay? <laughs> but anyways, um, that's just some little tips that I just started doing myself. Or if you have like a mason jar, you guys, you can definitely put them, you can store all the ones that are, um, that your wax warmer or not, it's not trying to melt anymore because there really isn't anything, anything to melt. Um, you just throw them in there and you just keep them and place them in your house somewhere on shelves and it smells so good or place it in the bathroom and it smells amazing like i have one in the back of my toilet right now and literally i don't even buy like any more scents for my bathroom i just use whatever it melts um and then i put it in the bathroom the good thing about it is that it slips right on out of there um so i just love it. you just have to do a quick little clean of it and go to the next scent um now that scent stays in my house like i keep try to keep uh the same wax uh, wax melt for a week and then i'll switch it out to something different the next week um so let's go through my wax warmers because these are my favorite wax warmers or uh, wax melt warmers um so let's go through all my targets ones um so i got all of these from targets and this from targets so mostly everything was on sale on clearance um this month uh at targets for their candles and their wax melts so i definitely jumped on it so i got this for a dollar 40 and this is called lavender white tea and it smells so freaking good i'm not a fan of lavender at all you guys but it smells amazing um but if it was like a normal lavender, I definitely wouldn't be even like trying to buy it. Because I don't like regular lavender. It's just something about it I don't like. The next one I got was for $0.60 cents on clearance, you guys. It was uh, the Pineapple Sage uh, Sugar Cane. And it smells good, too. I always try to, just like my fragrance I put on my body, I always try to stick to floral and, you know, um, sweet type of uh, fragrances for my house this one is sunshine apple that's the one I trashed just a minute ago but this smells amazing I love the way it smells this was only a dollar forty I just wish you could smell all these different kind of aromas like all together they smell so good you guys um, and then we have the warm and the warm cider and cinnamon with notes of apple and orange they smell so good like I'm not even showing you guys the colors but there's they smell so good so these are the colors of the lavender one um, what is it lavender and white tea this is our pineapple one this is our apple and then this is our our um, warm cider and um, cinnamon which these two will be my fall picks um, and I cannot wait to light them up. Here's another one that I bought. This one was $1.40 as well. And this is the Sun Kiss Kiwi. Um, this one smells really good. It's not a strong like scent at all. It has the notes of lemon and pineapple. Um, and so when I seen those on clearance, you guys, y'all better start going to Target and checking their clearance sections if they have one or the outsides of the I think the outsides of the owls um, they have lots of clearances um, and I'm just really thankful I ran across these because I really need them um, I got the coconut sherbet um, and this was only a dollar forty I already used one it smells really really amazing the one that I showed you, this is what at that looks. Some of these haven't been used. I just haven't been like testing them out and trying them. This is the same one as the front, the lavender one. Um, and this one right here is the same one, Asheville. I think it's the pineapple sage. But this was like 60 cents. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I just showed you guys. Pineapple sage, sugar, uh, sugar cane. So I got like two of those and then I got this one right here from Target's like two years ago you guys. These things last forever. This is the Golden Archet and that's the color for that. But these smell so good you guys like 
oh my gosh if you're doing like a spa day at home these will just make it like just feel spice like um and then i got the century a uh, century century since since you guys i'm from texas sometimes my words get a little twisted so don't get me wrong um it's called the scentsy um and these are made in ohio idaho um and i buy these normally from the state fair of texas um, this one is clothes line and it smells amazing. I've been having this for like a year or so and I had them in the sun. I don't know why they were in the sun, but they started melting, but they're still good. And then another one, Scentsy. <laughs> this is the aloe water and cucumber. This one looks like this and it smells really, really good. And my favorite, 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 especially like at night with babe, I just put this in the wax warmer and it smells so good, you guys. Like it smells so good. This one is the Scentsy uh, Sense scent and it's called Welcome Home. I cannot wait to the state fair to come on the 30th of this month. It's October? Wait, it's no, yeah, it's September the 30th. I am so going because I like to go and definitely eat <laughs> and I also like to go get their country girl hats and I like to get more scentsy scents um, but this one is smells so good I keep this upstairs I know it's supposed to be downstairs but I get this upstairs because it just makes the room smell so good like so so good um, some more things that I got from the state fair um, last year was this one and it's no actually these are not from the state fair these are from Walmart have y'all ever seen these at Walmart well if y'all have that's where they're from unless I'm just tripping um but I think they're from Walmart Oak uh, Oak and Ray but anyways uh, Oak and Rot I'm sorry um, this is called get cozy and it definitely doesn't have like, um, I think it's from Walmart, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I got this and it smells really good. Um, I know I'm going to keep this one downstairs because it smells really, really good. It makes the home smell so good, you guys. And then I like to use this one like in my bathroom. It's called uh, Bright Hibiscus. Um, and this is from Walmart. Um, and I've been using that one. But yeah, it smells really, really good. My favorite. Um, also, we have this one. It's Hunting, uh, Hunting Home Flower Shop. And this is called the Magnolia Blossom White Gem Gordinia Japanese Lily. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it smells really good, really good. You guys probably like, you ain't even used the middle part. You only use, been using the end, end ones because those smell super good. This one's like a more, you know, romantic night type of scent, that pink one. So, and girl, this next one, oh, this is a limited edition. Like, some of these I think limited editions, but I'm not for sure. Um, but girl, this next one, this purple one, oh, Lord. We cannot burn this in the room, honey. This is called Magic Spell Fall in Love <laughs> from Walmart. Really, really good. Oh my gosh, this is my second pack, and it just yes. <laughs> um, then I get I got the Sweet Apple Wax Cubes from Walmart. These smells amazing, and it, this probably will be like part of my fall too as well. Um, these are more like these candle waxes or you guys seen the prices for these they were on clearance for um this one i think i only paid like a dollar for honestly at targets because it was like a limited edition i think and then or no i think paid like two something and then for the sensi you guys <laughs> y'all don't even want to know how much i paid for them these are expensive um for i guess he, he gave them to me um at the fair for three four three four 25 but they were expensive um and so i just i went ahead and got them because honestly i love sensi's products um and then your plus you're helping out a like a small owned business and he just getting started with working with sensi 
So I didn't really, you know, I wasn't like, oh, okay, that's just too pricey. Uh, but he was working with me. He was like, normally he'd sell them for like 30 but he took out five. So I paid three for 25 which was okay because I did have like money to uh, just splurge at the fair. We all splurge at the fair. But uh, um, the last one is the Better Homes and Garden from Walmart. It's called French Lilac um flowers and this one smells amazing from home and garden i need to venture out in more of this but some of this stuff is like 68 cents 98 cents a dollar um i try to find them cheaper um but anyways you guys i am very happy that you uh stayed and watched um this video and i hope you guys learned something i hope i learned something from y'all like i always do <laughs> um but anyways i gotta go bye